This interesting example plots an eye on the LCD, which can follow the movement of the object in front of Clipo C6. The eye color becomes red when sound detected. Similar to previous examples, a calibration to the light is embedded. During the calibration, the LCD turns to red. An eye is drawn at the center after the calibration. Clipo C6 then enters the loop function to continuously execute the draw eye function. There are two parameters in draw eye function which are both functions as well. Eye row is for calculating the movement of the eye. Sound level is for measuring the sound. In eye row function, both eyes are read to compare with the initial ambient light value acquired during the calibration. This helps recognize the position of the object in front of Clipo C6. The distance to move the eye is calculated and stored in eye move variable. After constraint and remapping, eye move is returned and to tell the draw eye function how much the eye needs to move. Another function sound level is to detect sound levels, which has come across several times in previous tutorials. A sound level is returned to the draw eye function. The two parameters are passed on to the draw eye function. All the eye elements, mainly multiple field circles, are redrawn according to the new coordinate M, which enable the eyes appear at a new location. The sound level variable C becomes the parameter of color 565, which generates a relative color to fill one of the circles.